Today's drug is cephalexin, brand name Keflex. The pharmacologic and therapeutic class is an antibiotic, a beta-lactam antibiotic, or a first-generation cephalosporin. Dosage form and strength. The medication comes as a capsule in a 250mg, 500mg, and 750mg strength. It also comes as a suspension in a 125mg per 5ml and 250mg per 5ml concentration. And it also comes as a tablet in a 250mg and 500mg strength. Indications and dosing for adults. The first indication is for bacterial infections. The treatment dose range is between 1,000 and 4,000 mg per day by mouth divided every 6 to 12 hours. The max dosing is for 4,000 mg per day with a duration based on the type of infection and the severity. The next indication is for streptococcal pharyngitis or strep throat. The treatment dose is 500 mg by mouth every 12 hours for 10 days. The next indication is for uncomplicated urinary tract infection, or UTI. Acephalosporin is not considered first-line therapy for UTI. The treatment dose is 500 mg by mouth every 6 to 12 hours for 3 to 7 days. An alternative dosing is between 250 and 500 mg by mouth every 6 hours for 3 to 7 days. The next indication is for bacterial skin and skin structure infections. The treatment dosing range is between 250 and 500 mg by mouth every 6 to 12 hours for 5 to 7 days, with a duration extension based on the clinical response from the patient. An off-label use for cephalexin is in dental endocarditis prophylaxis. The treatment dose is 2,000 mg by mouth for one dose, 30 to 60 minutes before the procedure. Indications and dosing for pediatrics, ages 1 month and older. The first indication is for bacterial infections. The treatment dose range is between 25 and 50 mg per kilogram per day, taken by mouth, divided every 6 to 12 hours with a max of 4,000 mg per day, with a duration based on the infection type and severity. For severe infections, the treatment dose is between 50 and 100 mg per kilogram per day, taken by mouth, divided every 6 hours. The next indication is for streptococcal pharyngitis, or strep throat. The treatment dose is 40 mg per kilogram per day, taken by mouth, divided every 12 hours for 10 days, with a max of 500 mg per dose. The next indication is for uncomplicated urinary tract infection. The treatment dosing range is between 25 and 50 mg per kilogram per day, taken by mouth, divided every 12 hours for 7 to 10 days. Another indication is for bacterial skin and skin structure infections. The treatment dosing range is between 25 and 50 mg per kilogram per day taken by mouth and divided every 6 to 8 hours for 5 to 7 days, with a duration extension based on the clinical response. An off-label use in pediatrics is for dental endocarditis prophylaxis. The treatment dose is 50 mg per kilogram per dose by mouth for one dose taken 30 to 60 minutes before the procedure with a max of 2,000 mg per dose. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology The mechanism of action is cephalexin binds to penicillin binding proteins or PBPs which inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis by preventing the final transpeptidation step during peptidoglycan synthesis. The inhibition of the bacterial cell wall causes the cell to rupture or lyse. 90% of the drug is rapidly absorbed in young children, but decreases by up to 50% in neonates. There is wide distribution into most tissues, but there is poor CSF penetration. There is greater than 90% excreted in the urine as the unchanged drug, and this occurs within 8 hours. The time to peak in the serum is approximately 1 hour. The half-life elimination in neonates is 5 hours. 
in children between the ages of three months and one year is around 2.5 hours. In adults, it is between 0.5 and 1.2 hours. Cephalexin is only between 10 to 15% protein bound. Special Populations and Considerations In renal impairment for adults, and this is in regards to the every 6 hours regimen, if creatinine clearance is between 50 and 90, use the usual dose with duration extended between 6 to 8 hours. If the creatinine clearance is between 10 and 50, use the usual dose with duration extended between every 8 to 12 hours. If the creatinine clearance is less than 10, use the normal dose with duration extended between 12 to 24 hours. This is in regards to when the dosing frequency is not every 6 hours, still consider a duration extension. In regards to hemodialysis for adults, and in regards to the every 6 hour regimen, a usual dose is given, but this is after dialysis with a duration of every 12 to 24 hours. Contraindications and cautions in the following patient types. If there has been hypersensitivity to penicillins, especially anaphylaxis, edema, and urticaria, in renal impairment, in recent antibiotic-associated colitis history, as well as in patients with seizure disorders. Caution in patients on warfarin due to possible INR elevation. Regarding pregnancy, cephalexin may be used, but it is important to note that it does cross the placenta. An increased risk in birth defects and adverse outcomes have not been observed. Regarding use in lactation, the patient may use cephalexin. There is no known risk, but it may cause diarrhea in the infant. Side effects. The most common side effects are abdominal pain, gastritis, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Some serious side effects are C. diff-associated diarrhea, anaphylaxis, a granulocytosis, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, and cholestatic jaundice. Drug interactions. Considerations for drug interactions are the medication is an OAT1 and OAT3 substrate. It is also an OAT2 inhibitor. It has anticoagulant effects. It binds to polyvalent cations. It alters GI flora, and it is affected by slowed GI emptying. Some contraindicated and drugs of note. Do not use cephalexin with dofetilide. Avoid probenicid and caution with altaplase, apixaban, estradiol, doxycycline, and warfarin. Monitoring parameters. Monitor CBCs, creatinine, and LFTs if prolonged treatment. Also monitor for signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis during the first dose. Patient counseling information. Cephalexin is used to treat patients with bacterial infections. The most common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. After reconstitution of the suspension, cephalexin is to be refrigerated and discarded after 14 days.